football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion it's West Ham United they take on Chelsea next on EA TV live Well, you never quite know what's going to happen in this all-London fixture. West Ham United against Chelsea here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, former West Ham player, of course. What should we be expecting today? Well, if West Ham play at their very best and close Chelsea down and stop them playing, they could cause an upset here today. They're a good team when they're playing at home. This could be a really tight game. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Kilo Kera plays alongside Kurt Zuma in central defence. Pablo Fornals plays with Jared Bowen out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Jorginho plays with Mateo Kovacic in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the game begins. Havertz. Sterling has it. Mateo Kovacic. Very quick thinking there. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Skamaka. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. He takes aim. Making sure it didn't get past him. Havertz. Here's Kovacic. It's a weighted pass. Referee is given a corner. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Making progress. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, what a stop that was. Mateo Kovacic. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Now showing excellent vision.
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? Well read to put an end to that attack. Havertz. Well, it was a decent effort, but not quite good enough to extend their lead. Now well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, it's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. Well, for Christian Pulisic, the only way is up, surely. Hasn't been one of his better performances so far. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. And the second half underway, West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. He has teammates around him. This looks more than decent. No problems for the keeper. Kai Havertz. Pulisic and good work to deny the chance <laughs> playing it short and Pulisic has it it's still alive strong hand on that one Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. An important interception. And we have 30 minutes to go. It is now with Jorginho. Still possibilities. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Can he find the net? Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, it seems like it's only a matter of time before Chelsea get back into this game and get the equaliser. That was a great piece of goalkeeping. And on the front foot again, no let-up from them at all. And a strong tackle. Mount. Well, not a bad plan of action, but through to the goalkeeper it goes. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Just 15 minutes remaining. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Plenty of support here. 
being egged on by the crowd and it wasn't a taxing save Mateo Kovacic they've given it away well the Hammers have played well today but they've had great backing from their fans as well just listen to this noise can he finish them off if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story substitution time it is here Over it comes, not messing around with that clearance. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, the threat is there. Really vital interception. Joao Felix. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Very quick thinking there. And there goes the final whistle. Positivity for West Ham. They get the victory and the three points. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today. But overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.